Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of Ephesians. Today we're beginning at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Now, in the first ten verses of chapter 2, as we've looked at the last couple of sessions, Paul's talking about the wonder of our salvation in Christ. And it makes it clear, we are saved by grace through faith. Christ alone saves us. It's not by our self-effort, by our work, or our hard work, anything like that. We don't, we don't earn salvation. It's all by grace through faith, based on what Jesus did for us. Now, as he goes on in verse 11, he wants us to understand that salvation is for everyone, and experiencing the saving grace of Christ makes us one. Paul especially sees this in terms of Gentiles and Jews. Now, in the ancient world, in Paul's day, the division between Gentile and Jew seemed insurmountable. There seemed to be a wall between them that could never be surmounted. They were just divided from each other. But Paul says in Christ, that wall's been broken down, and Christ has made us one in himself. Now, Paul is preeminently, of course, the apostle to the Gentiles. Of course, he was a Jew, but when he met Christ on that Damascus road, Jesus called him to be the apostle to the Gentiles and to bring them in to the family of God. So he has a special understanding of this. Later on, he's going to call it this mystery of how God has made Gentiles and Jews one together through faith in Christ. But he gets to talk about that in, in verse 11. Notice what he says. Therefore, now therefore is connected with the fact that we're all saved by faith through grace, whether we started as Gentile, whether we started as a Jew, we're all saved by grace through faith. Therefore, remember that formerly, you who are Gentiles by birth and called uncircumcision by those who call themselves the circumcision, which is done in the body by human hands, remember that at that time you were separate from Christ. Paul says, you know, you, you began your life, obviously you're Gentiles, uh, and you are called the uncircumcised by the circumcision, by the Jewish folks who kind of saw you as outside. And you were kind of outside the, the life of Israel. You were outside the, the, the people of God. That's why he says at that time you were separate from Christ. You were excluded from citizenship in Israel. You were foreigners to the covenants of the promise. You were without hope and without God in the world. In other words, before you were not part of the life of Israel. You are not a descendant of Abraham. You do not understand the life of the covenant that is contained in the Old Testament. You are not part of the, the, the patriarchs and the history of Israel. You were on the outside looking in. You felt yourself excluded. And those who were part of the Israelite nation and community kind of looked upon you as the excluded ones. As I said, there was that dividing wall between Gentile and Jew that seemed to be insurmountable. But Paul says, verse 13, but now, in Christ Jesus, you, who were once far away, have been brought near by the blood of Christ. You see what he's saying? You Gentiles who once seemed to be so far away from all the promises of God, the hope in the Old Testament, now in Christ you have been brought near. Jesus has done for you something that no one could have conceived of. He has brought you near. Now, in truth, the, the plan of salvation was always to do this. Uh, the, the, the Israelites were the chosen people of God through whom he would work to reclaim the whole world. Through them, he would make himself known that the whole world might know him. Through them would come the Messiah who would bring all back in. That was always the plan in the Old Testament, it's clear, but it had kind of been forgotten, and this dividing wall had come up. But now in Christ Jesus, that wall has been broken down. Now in Christ Jesus, you Gentiles who once were so far away, it seemed, by his blood he has brought you near. The blood of Christ has saved us all and made us one. Whether we were originally Gentile or whether we were originally Jewish, it doesn't matter. The blood of Christ saves us all. We're all saved by grace through faith, all by the atoning death of Christ on the cross for us. And in himself, in Jesus, he has brought us near to him and made us one with each other. A little bit later on, Paul's going to say this was a mystery that seemed to be hidden for generations, but now has been revealed. And I, Paul says, am preeminently the apostle to the Gentiles to bring them in. 
So part of the wonder of salvation is that God takes people who before were separate and were divided from one another, and in himself he makes them one, because all are saved by grace through faith. So hear that verse 13 again. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. He's got some more to say about this in these next two verses. So join us tomorrow as we'll pick up with verse 14 of chapter 2 in our five-minute Bible study in the book of Ephesians.